And now, Free Press Watch, a segment on Global Journalist, where each week we bring you a rundown of major events affecting press freedom around the world. I'm Regina Wang. June 4th marked the 23rd anniversary of the Tiananmen Square massacre. To recognize the anniversary, this edition examines Chinese media news. Today's news comes from CNN, Wall Street Journal, The Guardian, Xinhua, and Committee to Protect Journalists. The Chinese government clamped down on search engine terms related to the 1989 massacre, an incident where the government opened fire on hundreds of student demonstrators. Words that relate to the incident, such as fire, people, blood, tanks, are banned. State-sponsored hackers targeted Google email accounts in China, CNN reported June 6. Users can see a message at the top of their browser that says, Warning, we believe state-sponsored attackers may be attempting to compromise your account or computer. Google advises users to be more creative about their passwords. A Chinese official said it's the government's duty to publish air quality results and discouraged other embassies from reporting the data, according to the state-owned newspaper Xinhua. China accuses the U.S. embassy of publishing tweets of air pollution readings. The Chinese government said the tweets disregard the Vienna Convention and interferes in China's internal affairs. For more information on these and other events affecting press freedom around the world, please visit our website at globaljournalist.org. Thank you for joining us this week. I'm Regina Wang. See you next week.